Okay, this video is to show how I use MIDI to control snapshots and how I set up snapshots even though I have the, um, it in stomp mode. This, the reason I like that is because the stomp mode has all the visual indicators. So you have, um, you still have, you can still have uh, effect blocks assigned to the foot switches. Here I have a, a dynamic drive, an overdrive, and a modulation, and that's usually how I do it. You can actually have more than one assigned to each foot switch as well if you want. Um, but then what I do is I, so I have a, this is a Mosky switch into a little MIDI controller built, which goes in here. And although this does more, the main, mainly how I use it is this. I, I have the buttons control what snapshot I'm in. So if I press, um, once it goes to two, if I press it again, it goes three. So it's basically the right switch just goes up a snapshot. If I keep pressing, once I get to the top, it won't go. Although, say they add four snapshots, then I'd have the ability to just keep pressing up to four and then down. And how, and how I use it is I set this up uh, so that snapshot one is my lowest gain, uh, snapshot two is a, a medium gain, and snapshot three is a more gain. And that's with, so I have, in, in when I'm running in effects mode, which is so into an amp, I'll have um, two overdrive pedals. So let me show you, I've got, um, this is the Minotaur. So that's my overdrive pedal, so that's actually kind of acting as my, my three-channel amp. So when you see when I switch modes, you can see I've got the, the gain, tone level, and whatever other parameters you might have. I've used the, uh, the King of Tone or Sovereign for this as well, and it's really nice because it has so much so much control. But so that's the basic idea, though. You can see that I've got that gain, but then I've also got my my overdrive pedal, and it can also be. You can also have the parameters set different for each stomp mode. But one of the things that, you know, so here, oops, I'm in the wrong focus mode. Okay, so for just turning it on and off, I when I want it, I want to turn it on. I want to leave it on. So if I go, if I change modes, I do that, and you have to do a thing called uh, there's a snapshot bypass, and the default is on. And what that means is that it's going to be whatever's going to whatever state each effect in the snapshot has is based on how you save that specific state, which I don't want to happen. I want this to be on and off by this alone. So to, regardless of what's happening with the snapshots. Um, so I do that with, um, I do that with my modulation, the, the two, two or more, whatever I'm signing here. I also do it with my, I have an, expression pedal which I also set up that way so the expression pedal doesn't doesn't get changed based on what snapshot I'm in for instance this is a, a wah-wah pedal and so I can be using my wah-wah pedal and and you can see that it's changing there if you, I don't know how easy that's going to see on video but you can see it okay I'm moving my wah-wah pedal that won't be turned off by changing the snap. If I didn't set it up as snapshot bypack, bypass off, it would um, go off when I changed patches, or it would actually think that this was now the saved state and gets really screwed up. Um, I think that's the, the main stuff. Um, way I've also just some other things about the switch I I can change patches by just holding these down longer which is useful I'll also set up um, I can go to if I double press I can go to this mode and then I can get into a into a scroll mode but I, I don't use that very often I I might take that out completely and just have basically being able to change um, 
snapshots and also change patches. I guess one other thing I can show you is that if I'm going direct, how I'll do that is I'll, I'll have, um, I'm going direct what how I'll set it up is I'll use an amp instead of a so I've got a farm block there and it'll um, if I change oh, I can't see it here oh yeah I think it's a bad choice But anyways, the idea is that you can then control your your amp in the in the snapshot mode and have different drive settings that for each snapshot. Um, so so for for me, how I set it up is if I'm in if I'm going direct to an amp, I have two drives, one to as a stomp and one as kind of the amp set for snapshots. And if I'm doing um, uh, direct with an amp, I'll replace one of the one of the drives with an actual amp and use it, and then I can set it up as a three-channel amp. So, hope that's useful.